Hi guys, how's it going? Hey, oh my word, I'm sick of this. There you go, bit of a muted introduction today, just as I was about to come in and film this this morning. Um, the news came on about an attack on a shopping centre in Australia. Five people murdered, um, and some of the injured. I think one of the one of the casualties, the child. Uh, we certainly know that a baby's been stabbed as well. It's horrific. Now, I don't like to bring stuff like that in here. This is a haven and an escape for me. But I've got lots of viewers, lots of subscribers in Australia. And just as a human being in general, I think it's right to say to Australia and anyone from there that's listening that you're in my heart, you're in my thoughts, and you'll be in my prayers later as well. Just know that we're all standing right alongside you with this wherever we be in the world okay we'll crack on with the shave now guys yeah it's difficult in it to move on from that it is but i really did feel like something had to be said okay today bit of housekeeping thank you to pinnacle grooming look pinnacle grooming sent me these look there's there's some you get you this is if you were to buy this from pinnacle grooming Minus the aftershave samples, guys. Put four little aftershave samples in there, which I'm really looking forward to trying. But these little um, sets, look at these. £10, look. For 10 of these, for that, absolutely wonderful. And I just did a cursory um, experiment and got four shaves out of one. So, uh, but somebody actually messaged me and said, John, I could, get, I could get six or seven shaves out of one of them easy. There you go, all those different sorts. And I say that because it's pinnacle that we're going to be using today. But before we do that, come on, let's get the brush. Uh, courtesy of Lee Hazley, look, Yaki Oceans brush, this is called. Absolutely beautiful. I'm going to put that in there in the official Job Shaves 101 Super Soaker. What we on today, I forgot to bring the bag in. We're on Pete's, Pete's Dark Roast Coffee. I don't, can you see it? I don't think you can. There you go. Cheers, everybody. Let me know what your slurp of the day is. Morning and afternoon. Now, my SOTD is my share of the day. You've seen that in the thumbnail. The slurp of the day is coffee. And later on, it'll be jam shed. Now, it's sacrilege, guys. I always like to have a little nibble. No pun intended. But, yeah, look. It's, we've got some digest McVitie's digestives today. Now, it is actually sacrilege to eat one of those with anything other than a cup of tea. But I need, I needed the caffeine that Pete's was giving me this morning, guys. It's dark roast, it's very, very strong, and I've made it very, very strong as well. So there you go. Come on, John. Let's crack on with the shift. Cheers to you all. Okay. We're going to balm up with Floyd Citrus. We've got a Kai blade in there. And as you've seen, check out this artwork from Pinnacle Grooming, guys. Their artwork is right up there with PAA's. PAA and Pinnacle Grooming are joint first, but they are reams ahead of most other people when it comes to the artwork on their stuff. And that's if you like this, you know, that I'm sure somebody will correct me in the comments and go, well, actually, I prefer, yeah, okay. Well, if you like this, look, <laughs> there you go. This was very kindly gifted to me by Stuart George. Oh, and it smells absolutely fantastic. I was actually going to grab a bowl and I may still do that in a minute. There you go. Aquarius from Pinnacle Grooming. Okay, a rich scented lather that quickly builds to a creamy lather from Pinnacle Grooming. The top notes are lemon, juniper berry, myrtle. The heart notes are cypress oil, pine needle and pine cones. The base notes are citrus, amber and lentisk. Or lentiske, or lentiscu, however you pronounce it. It's lent, as in I'm giving stuff up for lent. Uh, I-S-Q. So you, how you put... 
to me guys, very fresh, very light, very bright, lemon citrus scent. It, 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 but you do, you pick up, you pick that lentisca actually, it smells like cedar wood, that. Uh, and that's what that smells like. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this in a minute, I'm going to go and get a bowl. I will do a bowl lather, uh, and I will tell you for why during the shave. Okay, but the star of the show, the pièce de résistance. What's in Chuck Shaving Channel? Check out Chuck Shaving Channel. And it goes, I hate that saying. Yeah, the pièce, well, Chuck, the pièce de résistance, just for Chuck. Here it goes. You've seen it. There you go. That is the shield. I think it's a defender. It was just listed as a shield razor. Um, I've done some research and I've had a couple of people speak to me uh, and a couple of people have said to me, John, that's a shield defender in titanium. Now the story with this guys is uh, in stainless steel, I think these, now don't quote me on this, this is just very cursory, very brief research that I've done. In stainless steel, these goes for about brand new for about 55, 60 pounds. This was on eBay used once 70 pounds and i thought well 70 pounds is a little bit much it's only 55 brand new so i offered him 55 pounds and the guy accepted and i thought god i've got a shield stainless steel razor for 55 pounds he got back in touch with me he said john i've made a mistake but i will still honor the sale so thank you to him i will still honor the sale he said my mistake is good for you and bad for me i thought it was stainless steel but I'm checking again, it's actually titanium. So I got this wonderful shield titanium razor, eBay bargain of the week for Big John for just a princely sum of 55 pounds. Do you imagine if that hadn't come off then would it would have been like, well, it's not a bargain. It's not a bargain now, is it? Look, there's the best. I like shield razors. I like them, I like them a lot. That's what the top cut looks like that's what the base plate looks like and they've got four little notches and the razor blade sits in there i'm showing you all this now somebody said to me this is a really really aggressive razor so i'm putting a kai blade in it slightly wider razor sharp if that's aggressive this is just going to put it stratospheric isn't it showing you the top cap so much um because i'm just hoping somebody an absolute expert out there will say to me exactly what it is. Mr. Wolf's kind of told me, and I, I agree, I agree with him, um, but I don't want to come in here and make a statement and then actually be wrong. Look, there's no overhang, there's just a really, really, well, no overhang, well, yeah, actually, there is a hair's width of an overhang there. Really good, well engineered piece of kit look at this guys and there it is there what we're going to do we'll put that in there i'll be back in one second i'm going to go and get a ball and we're back just like that that's the ball first one that came to my hand and I, to be honest with you it, it kind of uh, kind of fits in doesn't it well yeah, there you go that's the aquarius we've put some in not a lot name the magician I scooped it out because Stuart had already started scooping that and all of those that he sent me in there have scooped out and I'm going to do the same for hygiene reasons. Uh, I'm going to keep some, I'm going to gift some. Thank you Stuart, Stuart said that, you can gift some. And then others I will divvy up, put in little sample pots and send away. I do that with quite a lot of my soaps guys. Cheers everybody. You're all thinking, John. Just get on with the shave, aren't you? There you go. Here we go. It's actually quite wet. Let's go for it. Look at this. There you go, guys. Seconds. Seconds and it's lathering away. So how are you all doing? What kind of weekend have you had so far? Um, yeah. It's difficult when you put the TV on. You see all this stuff in the news, isn't it? It's uh, upsetting and so on. 
um, but we just try try and escape from it as best we can and when things like this happen uh, <clears throat> I think the worst thing you can do I think of those people in Australia the worst thing you can do is allow these people to affect your behaviour because then they truly have one haven't they that might sound like a cop out because you just want to come in here and have a shave job no it's not um, once you start altering the things you do in your life then they've won that haven't they so that's not happening here look at this guys okay so what we'll do is oh wow wow I just just washed a little bit of excess off there on my hands and that is a very very slick soap look at that guys camera doesn't lie oh so how are you all doing do you know what I've got I've got a brush in there and I haven't used it because I used it once I didn't particularly like the knot got it out again today because I'm thinking of taking the knot out because the brush is beautiful I'm thinking of taking the knot out and putting a different knot in um, so I got um, got in here this morning and I thought we'll do a test lather and it lathered like a champion now I've got my heart set on this other knot for it so I'm <laughs> gonna, gonna take this knot out put it in a poorly performing handle that I like a poorly performing brush that's in a handle in there and still get the new one for this oh job get on with it here we go do you know anything about this? Do you all think, oh my word, he's going to hack his face off? Grab the popcorn. Here we go. There's the blade exposure. Uh, to be fair, actually, <laughs> that does, does look pretty mean, doesn't it? But you know, come on, if anyone can handle this. Right, so we'll start. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you now. Two things are going on here. There's a lot of blade feel. But I don't think a lot of aggression. And I think that may be confusing some people. Because you think people tend to think that if you can feel a lot of blade, feel a lot of blade, a razor's aggressive, and it isn't. It feels very efficient. And there's no doubt you can feel that blade. But I would put this. I would put this right at a Mueller rocker. If you haven't got a Mueller rocker, I'm so sorry. But it's a couple of clicks above on a scale of one to ten. And now my one to ten, right, puts the uh, Merca 34C at number five. It's slap bang in the middle. So I would put this at seven. on that skill and they do that because most people have an occur 34c don't they so you'll know where i'm coming from i know i am cdb and he was making videos he used to grade one to five now so if i use the one to five grade the occur 34c would be one this would be three I hope you now appreciate the length that you got to. If it was a steak, it'd be medium well, because I tend to grade my razors like my steaks. You go, um, um, what is it now? Rare, um, medium rare, medium, medium well, and well. So I'll put this at uh, medium. 
if John stopped with the analogies, because you know what, you do all this, you go with the analogies, you end up just losing. People thinking, so is it medium or is it is it well done? Oh my word. Yeah. So on a scale of one to ten, one being the mildest resin you've ever used, ten being the old R41, I'd put this at about seven. Yeah, but like I said, do you not say it? I've really got to go and get my ear checked out. Like I said, it is quite blade forward, guys. It is. It is quite blade forward, and I think that may fool a lot of people into thinking it's aggressive. I wouldn't particularly say it's that aggressive. There you go. Yeah, wonderful, wonderful razor. I got a deal. I'll be absolutely honest with you guys, and I've told people this before. If he'd contacted me and said, I've made a mistake, it's titanium, can we cancel the sale? I would have said, yeah, I'm not out to do anybody over. I'd have said, yeah, no problem. I'd have been gutted, but I'd have said, yeah, no problem. But I didn't get a chance to. He emailed me first and said, I will honour the sale. But just to let you know, it's titanium. It's not steel. So big ups, kudos to him. So, you know, like I said to my children when I was bringing them up, Communication is key, isn't it? You communicate with people. Things tend to work out okay, don't they? So let me know what your shaves of the day are. Let me know what your slope of the day is. And as always, let you, let me know what you think of my my shave of the day. I laugh when I say that because just. Only about twice in the five years or so that I've been doing videos, only about twice. I've had people who really let loose on me about exactly what they think about my shares of the day. Oh dear, do you know guys? You can have an iron hand in a velvet glove, can't you? I say to my wife, if you're eating a meal and something isn't quite to your taste, you season it, don't you? So if you're speaking to somebody about something that isn't quite your taste, season your words. I work. <laughs> I worked with a young man once, I used to deliver washing machines, it was so funny. And my boss, who sounded like me on the other side of it, said something and the young lad thought it was me. And he threw his tools down and he jumped up and he kicked the washing machine he was repairing and he flew into an almighty red. And then before anybody could speak, realised it was the other guy. I'm like, Absolutely perfect. Hello. <laughs> oh God. What do you think I tell you? Oh life, you know. We'd be okay, wouldn't we? If it wasn't for life getting in the way. Well <laughs> I don't know about aggressive guys, but that's baby there's nothing. There's nothing left at all. But we're gonna do lather mittens. Do you know why? Because I like doing lather mittens. That's more a case of bumpy, uneven skin. Yeah, there's the usual suspects. But there's no buyer's remorse with this razor, guys. It's a belter. 
It's an absolute belter. As we say in Manchester, I'm buzzing. Oh, I'm, I'm buzzing. That works great until you complain to somebody about something buzzing. You say, yeah, buzzing. Yeah, buddy, that's buzzing. Oh, thanks, mate. Thanks. That's fantastic. Very nice of you. Very nice of you to say so, mate. No, I'm not reviewing it. It's making a sound. Well, <laughs> oh, right. What well, can you tell? Can you tell? I'm having a good day today. Check this out, guys. Look. We did okay, didn't we? A little. There's a little bump now. We did okay. You know, I watch my videos back, and my wife goes, <gasps> You cut yourself. I say, Yellow, you're running a steel blade across your face. It'll happen. There you go. So, what are we doing now? Pinnacle grooming. There you go. I don't think I've ever used their splash before. I may be wrong. I don't know I've said it before, you guys don't like to hear that, but I am wrong sometimes. I don't think I've used a pinnacle grooming splash before. It's a lovely clear splash. Oh, there's alcohol in it. Now the lemon's coming through, the lemon forward. Oh. It smells great and actually kind of, I don't know if it is, but it kind of feels skin fooded to me now. Absolutely wonderful. Check out Pinnacle Grooming. I think I've got a link, I think it's John Shaves 20. And you get 20%, I think that's it. Uh, but not off the samples. But there's a discount to be had somewhere. Look below to see. But uh, those samples guys, really, go get them. You, you just can't beat them. There you go. And Floyd Citrus Aftershave Balm. Look at that. <laughs> oh, and have you seen? Have you seen it? Look, right? That looks like my son David. David. <laughs> I won't tell you his last name, but those that know his initials are DC. So that's little DC, little golem DC. Mm, mm, mm. There you go. Oh, wow. That balm's good. I prefer the Vetiver one, but it's good quality stuff. And there you go. Look at this. 23 minutes. This has got to be some kind of record for me, guys. We did okay, didn't we? Look after yourselves. Look after each other. And remember, guys, things like Australia. Don't, don't listen. Well, I, I, I don't know. I'm not giving you advice on this. I'm saying me, when they were all running that way, Real men, go that way, take them down, look after yourselves guys, look after each other and just remember, be the change that you want to see in the world and you've changed the world haven't you? Look after yourselves, stand for Australia and I will see you next week in the Wednesday Shave. I'll be using some pinnacle grooming again. Bye.